10 blender tips for beginners in 2023. Number one, this big section here is the 3D workspace, which is essentially the scene you're creating. This section is the properties menu where you can adjust settings to change your scene. This space is the outliner, which is basically just a list of everything in your workspace. And this is the timeline where you can add keyframes to animate your scene. Number two, if you hover your cursor over every basic tool or button you see on the screen, it'll give you a basic description of what it does and what key bind it uses. Number three, always check the size graph when buying a pair of pants. That doesn't have to do with Blender, it's just a really good tip. Number three, actually. Up at the top of the screen, you'll see a bunch of buttons that say layout, modeling, sculpting, UV editing, and so on. These are a bunch of different workspaces that you can use that are already presets and made for you, so you don't have to go ahead and switch everything around if you don't want to or don't know how to. And they can be really useful for some quick workspace switching and swapping, so you don't have to slow your work pace down. So let's say you want to go ahead and just switch to the UV editor real quick and then go back to the layout or go and model something and then come back or animate something and come back to the workspace that you want to use. It's super easy to do without having to switch everything around. Number four, if you do want to move everything around, if you squeeze your cursor into the one of the corners of the 3D workspace, your cursor will turn into a little plus. Click and drag the cursor into the center of the screen to create a second workspace, which we can then turn into a different window. For instance, if we need the shader editor or the graph editor, we can uh, easily have them side by side our 3D workspace just by switching this with this little button here. And if you want to get rid of a window, go ahead and put your cursor in the corner of one of the workspaces and drag it into the other workspace. Number five, this one is the best tip in the video, I promise. Go to edit, preferences, system, and turn up the undo steps from 32 to 256. If you have it set to 32, you can only undo the last 32 things you've done. And I can't tell you how many times I've made more than 32 mistakes. And I'm not even talking about just in Blender. Number six, name your objects. Just just to keep everything organized. I still don't do this. And the bigger my scene gets, the harder it is to tell what I'm doing. So just name your objects, okay? It just makes it easier in the long run. Number seven, if you're wondering why there appears to be a tint over your renders, just head down to color management and change filmic to standard. Now all your objects colors will be the exact colors you set them as instead of like this weird grayish yellow thing. Number eight, be sure to change your output folder before you render your scene. I can't tell you how many times I've accidentally rendered something to my temp folder and spent way too long looking for the file. Number nine, this one only applies to Spider-Man. Try not to shoot your webs underwater because they instantly dissolve. And while you're at it, you might as well just save your project frequently so you don't lose any work because Blender does crash sometimes. And there's nothing like spending an hour modeling a beautiful sculpture just to have it disappear when you needed him the most. Just like the avatar. Number 10, subscribe. No, seriously, I make a lot of tutorials and I don't want you to be struggling with something just because you can't figure it out. So take Michael Jordan's advice and get some help. I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, bye bye.